Okay, and then when in specifically in the Bitcoin space, did you go more down the development and contributing actually to those projects? I got a job at this research lab called Coblox in Sydney, and that's where I started uh, working on engineering stuff around Bitcoin. Okay, so that's for uh, doing atomic swaps with Ethereum and other, other blockchains. And so this is where I started learning the Rust Bitcoin ecosystem. And then um, more recently, I've been contributing to the Bitcoin dev kit. But I haven't, I haven't made that many open source uh, contributions aside from the Bitcoin dev kit. That's probably my main one. I've written like quite some code, uh, but mostly experimental code that no one else would really be bothered with. It's like trying out ideas and thinking about things. So that's, that's sort of what I do. Most, half of the code at least is not really intended to be used by anyone. It's more like, does this idea work? I need to make it work in practice. Um, what does this enable? What are the, what are the, when you actually try to practically implement protocols, you know, you come up with these questions like what, how many rounds of communication can I actually get this down to, or what where what keys do i need and when do i need them and this kind of thing it's nice to be able to put the idea into code so you could figure out whether it works or not and you often figure out problems um that the th i didn't catch in the theoretical side of things so yeah that's my code is for exploring theoretical ideas and also when i can contributing to the libraries that let me explore the ideas